Cloud Code extension for your VS Code, for your cursor, and also for Windsurf. Recently, Cloud for Sonnet and Opus got released, which are really good at coding, reasoning, and also agentic capabilities. Now we can use that to create code. It is also directly available from cursor to choose. But the key difference I like is that you can convert a VS code into an AI code editor with the power of Cloud code. Same like in cursor, it automatically creates all the re required files and we can approve if we are happy with the change. So as soon as I click S, it will go on continuing with other files. And the terminal is now directly integrated with the code editor of your choice. Makes any code editor agentic. Also, I like this Claude integration with GitHub as an async execution. Claude as an async coder. So you ask a task to do and it's going to do the task. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to do this. Let's get started. You can now access Claude for incline, root code, and also in Kilo code. Kilo code provides $20 free credits to get started. So you can use this Cloud Sonnet 4 with this credits. Also, you have free credits in Requestly, which you can use to start using Cloud Sonnet and Cloud Opus for free. So Kilo code is an extension which you can download from extension in VS Code. So here is Kilo code. Similarly, you got Klein. That's where you can use Requestly to access Cloud Sonnet 4 for free. Also, you can use it via root code. But mainly, I want to show you about Cloud code. So to install it, this is the command and click enter. It will request for the API, which you can generate from console.anthropic.com. So once after you do that, just type Cloud in your terminal and then click enter. This will automatically download the Cloud code extension for the editor you're using. So if it's WinSurf, it's going to be WinSurf. If it's VS Code, it's going to be VS Code or Cursor. Now I can ask you to perform a task here. Create a finance tracking app with front end and back end. Now you can see it's listing all the steps and it's going through one by one. It's asking me for approval as well. So here is a finance tracker with back end and the front end. So same like Cursor or WinSurf, it's giving me the diff directly in my VS Code editor. This is a unique feature because you're running it from terminal and it's able to make those changes in the code editor of your choice. So I can accept this change by clicking the tick. Now it's going through step by step. I can even accept all by clicking this. Once after it completes the task, it's crossing that as well. So that is the whole plan and it's finishing one by one. Now all the tasks completed. Now you can access it through this URL. And here are the steps to run it. So now I follow these steps, starting the front end and also starting the back end. In a new terminal, as you can see here, this is the back end and also in the front end, here is the URL and here is the application. This is brilliant. Just with one prompt, I was able to create this application, which is a finance tracker, add transaction, able to add the transaction, selecting the category and add transaction. And clearly you can see it's interactive and you can see all the transactions in the transactions log here. See how easy it is to create an application using Claude code powering Claude Sonnet 4. Now next, we are going to see how you can integrate this with your GitHub and run this coder asynchronously. So just type slash and then install GitHub app and then click enter. So if you are in the actual working folder, which is already linked with GitHub, you can use that or else you can enter a different repo. But for now, I'm going to use the existing one, clicking enter, and it will ask to install Claude. I'm going to click install. Now after installation, it got redirected here. So you can see I can mention at Cloud in any PR or issue. Also in your Cloud code terminal, you might need to approve the access of using your Anthropic API key, which you have set before, and then click enter. And this will automatically open a pull request to make those changes. So create pull request. You can see that there is a workflow Claude.yaml got added, which you can change it based on your requirement. So I'm just merging the pull request, confirming merge. Here is the issue and at the bottom, I'm going to say at Cloud, review this and propose a solution. Now the request is going. Now for our issue, here is the progress. It's reading through the repo, investigating current file and going through one by one. 
This is brilliant. And also it's providing me the answer as well. See how easy it is to run this async coder and it is powerful. And I'm really excited about this, making my work more easy. Do let me know in the comments below what you think about this. Considering you already like Claude code, I also created another video about the features in the latest released Claude 4, which I highly recommend for you to watch. I'll put the link in here and I will see you there.